Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my guest game theater room. Uh, this subject is about uh, the graphics card shortage. So you can't get a 3080, you can't get a 3070, you can't get a 3060. And those are all RTX cards, um, by the way. So the next best thing is, since those cards are all above $1,500, Alienware has the X17 R1. Now, I'm going to show you what that card is capable of, the desktop uh, variant. So, I just ran, and I'll introduce you here to the screen that I have up. Uh, by the way, that is my Sony X900H, the uh, HDMI 2.1 uh, 4K screen, capable of doing 120 frames per second, 120 hertz screen. So I'm going to show you here, I'm going to go over some things, what I did to get a above the RTX 2080 Super and 3060 Ti performance and what I did. So I just ran here, if you look here, I'll show you. I ran Passmark Benchmark. And on the Passmark Benchmark, if you look here, here's a score of 20,285. And it says here, your video card versus the world. So if you go to Passmark uh, website here, you can look over here. I ran that score. And what I got here was 20,285. So if you look here, you see the RTX 2080 Super 19,498. So that's the desktop card. So this laptop, uh, and I have it here in a tent mode. So that way it can get the best cooling uh, thanks to Linus Tech Tips. And I see a lot of tablets that run in this mode for the screen that faces this way for users that don't want to see the keyboard when they're watching video. Uh, so now um, if you look here, once again, you had an RTX 2080 Super. That's the desktop card. And if you go above here, you see the 3060 Ti card, 19,600. So right here, if you come to the next one, this is even beating up the Titan RTX at 19,851. So that score, if you look RTX 6000, it's actually beating that score, but it doesn't beat the RX 6800, but it comes close to it. So if you can't get a RTX uh, 3080 or RTX 3070 or RTX 3060, Alienware has just dropped the price on this one right here. It was $2,500. So I'll go to the website real quick for you. Alienware just dropped the price. Yeah, they just dropped the price on here. Um, this is the one with the 64 gig XPM uh, Extreme Memory Profile for 32 gigs. Uh, so that one's $2,900. But actually, I updated mine to 60, the Crucial Ballistic uh, 64 gigs. So, uh, yeah, right now, the 32 gig is 2,900, but if you come down and if you get the 16 gig version, so let's see here, I might have it on this screen right here. Um, that's my, um, so but okay so here it is right here this is the one with the 16 gig uh 3070 um you can get it for 2500 but if you go to the best buy website best buy dropped the price to 22.99 but this graphics card really or this mobile gpu really packs a punch um it really does so if you look here you'll see where i upgraded the crucial upgraded to the crucial ballistic uh 64 gig so i just created this video in case anyone um is in the market and they wanted to um get a high-end graphics card but is unable to this may be the next best option i think this has the best bang for the buck i'm running it but also you have to look here too to get that score what I had to do was go into the Alienware Command Center. Um, so if you look here on the Alienware Command Center, you have to go to the GPU and the Advanced uh, tab. And this is what I have on my Advanced tab. 
this is what the thermal limit set to 87 but I increased the core clock uh, to, by 100 megahertz um, I increased the memory clock by uh, 200 megahertz but what's really sad about this is if I go back here to CPUs and if I look on the second chart right here it shows I have the X, XMP um, it sees it and it's 2.0 but the voltage needs to be 1.3 volts but if you come over here to Alienware um, you'll notice that I don't have an advanced view so I can if you look at the memory timings here and the voltage you see it matches what I have here um, the clock uh, the clock speeds um, the CAS the RAS and the TRAS if you look there it matches those timings and the voltage but if they had put an advanced view here on the memory clock I would probably increase the voltage to 1.35 but regardless once I upgraded to this memory I was able to get this score right here 20,285 I wasn't able to get it on the stock memory but even though those timings look slower than the default uh, 3200 megahertz memory that this machine came with but I upgraded to this crucial ballistic and I was able to uh, get this score uh, let's see here one more thing I wanted to cover um, and this is pretty much the default settings in the NVIDIA if I come here I want to go to the NVIDIA control panel and under 3D manage here's my settings so if anybody wanted to do this to see how I got that score you can uh, mimic my settings here but one more thing too uh, on the power management mode it's set to normal but if you go in here and you set this to maximum performance what you have to realize is that on this laptop if you come here to go if I go back to GPUs or let's go here So if I go to the graphics on here, if you look at the uh, um, TDP, it shows 115 watts. But on Alien's website, it shows that it is capable of doing 125 watts. On the NVIDIA's website, it's saying that it's capable of doing 140 watts. But if you set this to, uh, they call it um, Boost 2.0, that's how you enable the Boost 2.0. Uh, but the Boost 2.0... The Boost 2.0 shows that it is capable of doing 125 watts plus in 2.0 mode. It goes up 15 more watts. But you saw my settings and what I was able to get with that turned off. And with my overclock settings, I'm able to get this score of 20,285, which surpasses the desktop cards of the RTX 2080 Super. And that was just the previous gen card. Uh, last year that's incredible and then now it has a score that's higher than a RTX 3060 Ti desktop um, that is an incredible bang for the buck so I just wanted to let the uh, gaming community the IT community know uh, that yeah uh, Alienware did a phenomenal job on this laptop I pulled off the bottom cover uh, the bottom cover I pulled off many covers or bottom covers on laptops the bottom cover on this laptop is phenomenal. It is very impressive. Even though it's just a bottom card, uh, basically it is incredible. I would just wish that Alienware would take that board, the motherboard, and put it into like a mini computer uh, and just sell it by itself with uh, the Alienware uh, monitors. Um, that would just be really incredible. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.